A tracheostomy is a surgical procedure that involves making an incision in the neck in order to create an opening into the trachea. A tracheostomy tube is then inserted into the opening in order to provide an artificial airway to help a patient breathe. In general, there are two different types of tracheostomy tubes, fenestrated and non-fenestrated. There are some similarities and key differences between the two, and that is exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. So, if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, a tracheostomy tube is a cylindrical tube that is inserted through an incision in the neck and into the trachea. The tube has a hollow center which allows air to pass through so that breathing can occur. A tracheostomy tube is indicated when a patient is unable to breathe on their own or when they are in need of long-term mechanical ventilation. The tube helps to keep the airway open so that gas exchange can occur within the lungs. There are a few key differences between fenestrated and non-fenestrated tracheostomy tubes. The primary difference is whether or not the tube has a fenestration, or a small hole in the side. A fenestrated tracheostomy tube has an opening in the side of the tube above the cuff, which allows air to enter so that the patient is able to speak with the tube in place. A fenestration is simply a term that refers to the hole or opening in the shaft of the tube. Without said opening, no airflow can pass through the vocal cords, which means that the patient will be unable to speak with the tube in place. A non-fenestrated tracheostomy tube is a type that does not have an opening in the shaft of the tube. This means that air cannot pass through the vocal cords with the tube in place, and as a result, the patient will be unable to speak. Non-fenestrated tracheostomy tubes are generally the first type of tracheostomy tube that is inserted. However, if a patient is in need of long-term tracheostomy placement, a fenestrated tracheostomy tube is usually inserted in order to allow the patient to communicate. Now let's talk about the tracheostomy tube parts. All types of tubes are composed of several parts that make up the artificial airway including the inner cannula, outer cannula, pilot balloon, cuff, flange, obturator, and the fenestration. Understanding the different parts of a tracheostomy tube is important in order to understand how the tube works and its overall function. Also, there are a few potential complications that can occur with a tracheostomy, which include infection, incorrect positioning, damage to the mucosa, airflow obstruction, accidental decannulation, tracheomalacia, tracheal esophageal fistula, pneumomediastinum, tracheal stenosis, and bleeding. While there are potential complications that can occur, it's important to keep in mind that most are rare and can be avoided with proper tracheostomy care. And you may be wondering what exactly that is. Tracheostomy care is the process of cleaning and caring for the tracheostomy site to prevent infection and other complications. This includes gentle cleansing of the skin around the stoma, as well as the changing of the tracheostomy tube and inner cannula as needed. Tracheostomy care is typically a job duty of respiratory therapists, although nurses are often involved in the process as well. So now let's talk about suctioning fenestrated tracheostomy tubes. Tracheostomy tube suctioning is a therapeutic process that helps remove secretions from the trachea with the use of a suction catheter. This helps prevent the accumulation of secretions in the airways, which can lead to an obstruction and difficulty breathing. When suctioning a fenestrated tracheostomy tube, it's important to be aware of the opening in the side of the tube. That is because the suction catheter can potentially go through the opening and cause damage to the tissues of the tracheal wall. Another common question that often comes up is this. Can a patient talk with the tracheostomy tube in place? <laughs> As previously mentioned, whether or not a patient can talk with the tracheostomy tube in place depends on the type of tube that is being used. A fenestrated tracheostomy tube has a small hole in the side of the tube that is placed over the patient's vocal cords, which allows them to speak. With an uncuffed tracheostomy tube, patients may be able to speak if they are able to generate enough airflow through their upper airway. However, most uncuffed tubes are too small in diameter to allow for adequate airflow, and therefore patients are unable to talk. 
Cuffed tracheostomy tubes have an inflated cuff around the distal end of the tube that creates a seal between the tube and the patient's trachea. This prevents air leaks and aspiration, but it also blocks off the patient's vocal cords, making it impossible for them to speak with this type of tube in place. If you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.